my name is Belinda and welcome to Belinda's Bobbles Day 3, Christmas in July 2024. I am in Fort Worth, Texas and welcome to my yarn stash. Today's episode is basically Houston, we have a problem. Uh, you have not missed day two. I did not record yesterday. Um, after I re uh, well, Monday night, Proby's heart gave out and we lost him. It was a difficult, difficult night. And so I had no business being in front of a camera yesterday. Took um, I was working and took time with our family. And it's going to be a long grieving process, especially after losing Steve just three weeks before. Our family is down to one dog from a three dog household. And we're all coping in our own ways. But you're here for some yarny goodness. And today I was going to take you because I'm off work, to the Log Cabin Village here in Fort Worth. I've never been. And I thought that would be a fun out and about, but I'm just not up to it today. So we'll go later on this month because I do want to see it, maybe when the grandkids are here. But today I figured let's do some yarn stash diving. I am going to ask Sam not to look at this video. <laughs> If you're looking behind me, you can guess why. It goes on and on and on. I was going to go over to Juju's semi-annual sale um, and drown my sorrows in some yarn. But as you can see, I've already drowned my sorrows and stresses and everything else in yarn. And it's definitely a case of Houston, there is a problem. no way I could ever get all of this made up unless I do some really big stash busting projects. But I definitely have a wardrobe here for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I thought maybe y'all would like to go with me in a little bit of organization this month. Uh, I have quite a bit in these containers. But I also have these plastic bags and loose and just different things. This can, this is a bag that came from uh, Mouse Witch Yarn, Mandy with Mouse's Make, that she dyed specific, um, and put together for me. Some minis to go. And I need to, oh, it smells so good. Um, I need to get this made up into something. Here is a tea. I already have it set aside. I have so many different things in here. So many things that I don't remember. And some of this would probably go back seven, eight years to maybe one of the first yarn crawls I went on here in the area. This is not even counting my um, small bits of leftover acrylics and things like that. But how would you like a little bit of yarn porn today? I need to get this organized and I'm probably going to need to go get some different containers. Um, it goes, it all actually fits inside of a cabinet I have over here. These fit really well and I need to get some more of them so that I can organize all of this because I have everything from hand dyed yarns to self striping uh, to premier anti pilling acrylics and wool selects and I have plenty here to make several 
sweaters and good size projects. I even have alpaca roving and Timu cotton, <laughs> milk cotton, to make some washcloths. So instead of doing a July specific knit or crochet project, this is my project to get this organized, to figure out and put some uh, different projects with it. And I would love, love, love your input because as we go through this, you may think of the perfect pattern or I may end up thinking of the perfect pattern for you. So let's share a little bit this month back and forth on what I could do with my stash and what you might be able to do with yours. I'm not doing any kind of a make along or anything like that. Um, just some sharing of some knowledge between us. That's what the yarn community is all about. And I'm sorry I won't be spending much money this month <laughs> uh, as far as in the yarn shops. I'm still going to be going for my Sundays as much as I can um, for fiber, fiber day at On the Lamb. If you're in the area, come join me on Sundays. Not this Sunday because I have a baby shower, but most Sundays afternoons you'll find me over at On the Lamb and I would love to meet you if you're in the area. So what to do. This was yarn I won. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I am going to leave you here for the moment. And I'm going to figure out some storage. And then when I come back, I think for today, wow, well, I don't even know where to start. Let me get some storage and we'll start with some of this. And before this goes back in the cabinet, it needs to be fluffed out, looked at, loved, and we need to see what all I can make from this. I may even have some stuff in here that I'm needing for another project that I've already got on the go. I'm sorry, I'm fidgeting a lot today. So if there's background noises from that, I apologize. I'm not, still not sure exactly what this microphone picks up and what it doesn't, so I'm still working on that. So, I mean, here's this year's yarn crawl goodies. Over there, I think is Fiberfest and last year's yarn crawl goodies. I have Premier when they had a big sale not too long ago or last year. I've got a bunch of their anti-pilling and their everyday DK anti-pilling merino blends. And I had projects for this. I even have oh, one. Two, three, I have six skeins, look at that, of Queensland Collection Rainbow Beach Pure Australian Superwash Wool, 100 grams, 328 yards, so kind of a sport weight, colors violet. These were on clearance at such a, a deal. Oh, I'm missing one there. Okay, one, two, three. I have seven. I have seven of those. Oh. And I have some undyed yarn over here. So I can get the crock pot out even if I don't if I need a um, accent color or something. So here I'm, I'm continuing to waffle around. So let me go get some storage stuff put together and I'll meet you back here in a bit.
Okay, so I am back with the first step in this overhaul with the um, stash. It's late afternoon, so lighting's kind of coming and going from what I can see. There we go, that's a little bit more consistent. By the way, have you noticed a change behind me? Uh, we are putting up just a, it's just a Timu cheapy pre-glued um, pre wall. <laughs> I just wanted a little something different other than the green. And so I'm just doing one accent wall. Y'all are just going, uh, whenever we get it finished up, we've only got about half of it done. When we get it finished up, then whenever I do the regular podcast, all you'll see is the white wall. And I'll be able to put a little bit of my artwork back there uh, that I that doesn't, it kind of clashes with the other green walls. <laughs> but, okay, so I ended up going a couple of places this afternoon looking for storage. I'm looking down here for my storage. Let me get it. Went to Ollie's first. Um, I would have showed a little bit of video going in there. Found some, the size I was wanting. But when I looked at them a little deep, um, deeper, the size I really wanted had no lids. And so I went up to the next size up and every single one of them was cracked either on the bottom or on the upside, upper edge. Every single one. So had some other errands to run, um, which one of them, uh, Sam had an appointment uh, with the doctor this afternoon. So while he was in his appointment, I ended up going over to On the Lamb and hanging out with Heather for a while. So at the end of this video, I will put a little bit of yarny goodness in there from me going into the shop. But I didn't find what I needed at Ollie's, so I went to Big Lots. And I should have also had a little bit of footage there of Big Lots. And what I found there was one was this big one, this size here. And, and it's got the little handles on it. Now this will not sit flat, unfortunately. I hoped it would in my cabinet over here. It won't sit flat, but it will, you know, it'll sit on its end. And the size here, this is a 30 liter or 32 quart. It's 23 and 5 eighths length, 16 and 3 eighths width, and six and a half height. And those are in inches. And I got it for $10 and 99 cents. Show you there. Then also, they had these sets and I liked the size here this is a two stackable sweater boxes $7.99 for two pieces they're 12 quart or 11.3 liters 15 and a half by 11 and a quarter by five and a half inch so they're a little bit bigger than what I have back here but they'll stack underneath them pretty well and you got I got two of those so I got two sets so I've got four more of these and that big one so let's start with this one what I'm wanting to do is put get up here where I, I can see I want to put my premieres in here I have quite a few that is sweater quantities or blanket quantities of the um, anti-pilling, either acrylic, which this one is acrylic, and I'm actually using these for a baby blanket at the moment. So I want I got six of those. And my wool selects, these are all premieres. I have one more. Oh, yeah. I have four. This is color brick. And this is the wool select. So it's a washable wool, meaning basically it just has a little bit of wool in it. <laughs> I 
Then I have some leftovers from a, a Wool Select of this gray and cream. Put those in there. I have two of, this is the um, Everyday DK Merino Blend. I really like this. This is what I did uh, the main color for my color work sweater on. And it is 55% superwash merino, 45% anti-culling acrylic. And I do love that one. So this is fitting in here pretty good. Get it in there. Okay. I'm telling you, I love the wool selects. I have color cream and color white. Three of each. Another leftover from the baby blanket. Just a, let's see, where's the rest? There's more in here. <laughs> there is more in here. Okay. Another sweater quantity. This is the Everyday DK Merino Blend. And this is in color teal. So I have five of those. And then the anti pill again, the anti pilling every day. These were such a great deal when I got them. I think they were like two dollars, maybe three dollars a skein, which is why I have a whole container of them now. <laughs> and I got only three of these, right? Yeah, there's only three of them. And the reason is I want to do okay. Which one was this? Another white. So I've got four white. I wanted a solid white sweater. But the gold here, I want a ranunculus out of them. So I've got plans for quite a bit of this. It's just getting it done and not getting distracted with the shiny stuff. Okay. I think... I think that's it. So this container here is holding all of my Premier. So let's get this, see how well this straps down. If it's going to seal it good. Still leaving some gaps. Okay. So. Since these were left over from something else and not are not full the full skeins, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them out for someplace else. Aha! And I can get everything else in there. There we go. All right. Day one of fluffing the stash. <laughs> and there is a YouTuber that is doing fluffing the stash. I'll put her information right here and down below. Uh, but that's a little bit of a headway. So we got the rest of the month to keep going and keep going through all of this. So I hope you had a great day. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow morning for the 4th of July. At least it's, it'll be the 4th of July for me. You won't see it till the 5th. But y'all have a great 4th of July if you're here in the U.S., I think Canada is having a special day as well around now. So all the celebrations that are out there, enjoy them. And I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to take a look 
at all the lovely goodness at on the lamb yarn shop. Mm -hmm.